My name is Erin Bradley and I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School, fanatic about coding at schools and feel that this can offer children a great opportunity to learn systems thinking. Teaching a grade two class using the wonderful tool Purple Mash. Purple Mash is an amazing website with lots of content, games and more that feed into the education of our children. I try to encourage everybody around me to make good use of this tool. You'll find that it provides so much that can offer teachers, children, parents, very positive content that is curriculum based and that can only enhance your children's potential. So I urge you to please explore and Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash to enhance the possibilities and to provide the best sort of education for the learners that we teach. Today's activity, the Valentine's Day activity. You must go to your to-dos, click on this red check button over here. And look over there, there you'll see yours should say two. And that shows that there are two bits of work for you to do for marks. When you open the fish activity, it looks like this. I'm just going to open it here. You launch the app. Move the tuna right. So it's a type of fish. It's called tuna. And I'm going to demonstrate it again. Whenever you move, you must drag. Hold down the mouse button and drag it and put it over there. Look at the color. What's this color over here? Yellow. That shows that it's active. It says, make the tuna move right. Click right. Then you go to play to see if your code is correct. You click on this green, the green triangle button. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to play my code. Look, my tuna is moving right. It says next challenge. Now, whenever you're stuck in Purple Mash, you can always watch the videos. If you're ever stuck, it'll show you how to do it. Look over here. If you go on this over here, that's the design mode. But above the design, you can see this question mark. That blue button over there. If you click on there, it'll show you what you must do. So if I play, so look now, at showing me what I must play, do. Your tuna fish should be moving right. Now, you can hear the sound because my computer has got sound. It shows what you must do. So if you're ever stuck, watch that video. Now it says... Make the crab move left. So drag. The crab must move left. And then you play your code. Tuna's moving right. Crab's moving left. So we've now included the crab with the tuna. So both of them. And it says next challenge. Now you go to the next one. It says fix the program. So the fish move left and right. Oh, they're all wrong. They're going down. You must fix it so they move left, left and right. They mustn't go down. And when you get to the last challenge, this one, you make your own program. And then you go here to design and you make more fish. Anyone who needs help, I'm going to come to you when I'm finished. We're recording on YouTube. So I will help you when I'm finished recording. Then we go exit, look over here, Kalina, exit design mode. And then we can bring in, it says, adding click events. So the fish don't start moving until you click them. And then the tuna will move. I'll just move the first one. I'll make it go right. And then you do when, look at this, when clicking on the clownfish, you make the, what's this one? Clownfish move down. So you must bring in that. And now to show you how to finish. Red button, exit, and this is the save button. If you're handing in your work for marks, you click on the save and exit button. And when you click on there, you type in a name. Uh, you won't need to type in a name. You just click on that, and then, it's, and then it'll hand your work in. It'll say hand in. I will help you if you're stuck with that one.